So since the release of iOS 14, Apple's let you customize your iPhone and iPad home screen to suit your preferences. While the full customization options in iOS don't come close to anything on Android, you can now make some different changes to your home screen to make it stand out like adding customized widgets. Now, Widget Smith is among the most popular iOS apps that allow you to create custom iPhone widgets, and trying this app out on iOS 16 is a must. So basically, you can create a variety of widgets using Widget Smith. The available categories include photos, time, date, step counting, health and activity, battery, calendar, reminders, astronomy, weather, air quality, and tied widgets. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, Widget Smith's most amazing custom widgets for your iPhone like weather, air quality, pollen, and tides are locked behind a $1.99 monthly subscription or a $19.99 a year. Now, the subscription unlocks additional widget themes and removes in-app ads, but honestly, guys, you really don't need to mess around with the paid options because it's still an awesome app to use. Now, I'm gonna show you three different widget sizes you can use on Widgetsmith, starting with the small option and make my way to medium and large. Now, in these examples, I'm just gonna try to keep it pretty basic using the photo option. I also forgot to mention, if you guys wanted to get on our iOS newsletter, check out some great iOS resources, especially for Widgetsmith, I'll have some links in the description. Okay, so here we go. All right, so far, so good. Also, if you guys have any questions about creating widgets on Widgetsmith, feel free to message me below in the comments. But starting with the small, and then we'll make our way to the medium. Now you can honestly have a lot of fun with this. You can go pretty crazy and it's a little bit addictive. I think it's actually got over 500,000, like 4.5 out of five star reviews on the app store, which is insane for you know an app like this, but um, pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same picture example for each one of these widgets just to keep it pretty basic. If you guys have any questions too about using Widget Smith, feel free to message me below in the comments. And I don't know what it is. I just kind of like the option for the, uh, you know, using the photo. But like I said, you get really creative with this. Okay, and basically that's it, guys. Um, if you're, you know, running iOS 16 right now and you're looking for, you know, a widget app to be using and you haven't checked out Widget Smith yet, you know, I highly recommend it. It's really fun. You could just start customizing your home screen to the fullest with this app, and it's uh, it's really that awesome. All right, anyway.